you know, we, we our inability to to stop the other team's best player is is becoming a you know kind of just a broken record right now. Um, and it's not some mystery offense or or you know some deception. It's just manning up and uh, and, and having guys that are disciplined enough and um, and connected enough to deal with a screen and not give in to the physicality of the moment. Uh, and uh, you know that's been a struggle for this team uh, all year. Uh, it's not something new, um, and uh, we just got to keep battling and, and figure out a way to get better there. I I know this, and uh, in in my I just told the team this in my career, the other team's best player rarely scores his average, uh, and then this year we we can't stop anybody, and it's at the guard spot for the most part. Uh, we can't stop anybody, and uh, so. We got to keep working. We got to stay on it and uh, uh, figure out a way to how to just just play a little stronger and a little tougher and a little bit more disciplined. Dave. Hey Frank, thanks for doing this. Um, is there an update on Jermaine and Justin after he got rung up late? Yeah, I, 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 I when I walked in the locker room. Excuse me, when I walked out of the locker room for the second half, I was told there was minor swelling on Jermaine's foot. So, uh, which usually when it's a severe injury, like I've had my share of in life, it, the, the swelling immediately just blows up. So I, I don't know what that means. Uh, I haven't had a chance to visit with uh, Mark Roger or Chris Mazaway, our, our doctor. Uh, you know, whenever I'm done here, I'm headed back to the locker room. And I'm sure I'll have that conversation. Justin was uh, uh, in our locker room afterwards in the huddle and all that stuff. So I assume he's okay if he, uh, he got hit in the head. If, if there's something complicated there, I would think that they would have taken him in the training room and he would not have been in the locker room with us. John W. Frank, how much cause of concern is it that you guys really can't produce in the fast break? I, you know, over the last 30 games, you, you forced 60 turnovers, but you guys can't put board, put points on the board. It's ridiculous, John. I, I've never, I, I, you know, as coaches, our job is, you know, put players in position to, to, to be aggressive and make plays. And uh, going into today's game, I haven't seen today's numbers. The last two games, we had turned teams over 43 times and converted 43 turnovers into... 13 points. 13, I got it right. 13, yeah, 13. I was trying to add six and seven, and I'm... You know, uh, so how you take 43 turnovers and score seven points off of that on a team like ours that's guard heavy is is mind boggling to me. It's uh, uh, I don't know. I'm going to peek at this real quick today because I got no idea what those numbers are today. They turned it over 20 times and we scored six points. No, no, we scored a little better today. 21 points. Um, and so, and, and, and I would venture to say the majority of those 21 points were free throws, you know, that we made some free throws, to, uh, but we, I don't remember us making too many shots. Colin. I mean, Key was in here kind of talking about how this is a team that's not really playing as a team right now. They're playing as about, I think almost five individuals on the court at the same time. How do you go about correcting that and kind of what's next for this team as you get into the final five games of, of the year? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, uh, I've been trying to tell you guys I'm not into throwing players under the bus, but I've been trying to tell you guys that, you know, we got to learn how to trust one another. And that's the biggest problem. And uh, until we don't take ownership of that moment of what Keyshawn told you, not me, uh, and, and figure out a way to do our jobs a little bit better and hold each other accountable a little bit better um, and uh, um, uh, and learn to trust. Uh, because we're being honest with each other, uh, it's going to be hard to correct some of those things, which goes back to the question about, uh, you know, uh, Garden Devontae Shuler. It, you know, it takes it takes guys to take ownership of the moment. Uh, you know, Dwayne Notice wasn't a great athlete when he got here, but Dwayne would get over ball screens and deal with that guy. And, you know, it, it just uh, – it, it's it's part of the challenge. Uh, um and, and, you know, but it's, it's, uh, we, we, 
blaming and, and pointing fingers and running around and trying to create excuses, that's not going to fix anything. We, we, we got to take ownership of our responsibilities and, and we got to do things a little bit better. How hard is that trust to foster maybe so late in the season? Is it easy to do or is it harder to do as you get down to the, the end here? Yeah, it's never too late to change. It, it's my theory how I live life. You know, it it's, uh, doesn't mean you got to be perfect. Uh, but if, if you refuse to accept your responsibility and you refuse to, to be more disciplined and better, then the problem don't get fixed. Uh, but the great thing about the life I've lived uh, and uh, that, that it's never too late to change. It's, uh, uh, you know, people that don't adjust and don't change, those are the ones that continue to fail. The ones that do change, some change when they're 15, some change when they're 18, some change when they're 54 years old. And all of a sudden you start finding joy because you, you, you start doing things uh, from a, a place of more responsibility and, and more committed to helping others. And that's, that's what we're trying. That, the, 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 the confusing part for me um, uh, is that we didn't have these issues last year, but we got them now. And that's why when I tell you guys um, that uh, I don't care if you return your whole team, every, every season's independent from the other. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Every every team, every season has its different set of challenges. Mike Uva, Frank, trying to piggyback off that that question from Colin. <clears throat> uh, Keishan also mentioned that this just doesn't look like a, a Frank Martin team. Um, whether it be at South Carolina or you know you're during your days at Kansas State, what does that mean when you hear something like that? What is a Frank Martin led team supposed to look like in your eyes? Yeah, I, I don't want to speak for Key. I, I don't want to do that. I think. You know, and, and uh, I appreciate his honesty. I appreciate, um, uh, you know, him saying that. Uh, but I th some of the things that I've been talking about, you know, it's uh, um, I, nobody ever has career highs against my teams. It's we don't. Did we get out rebounded today? Oh, we got them by one at the end of the game. I know we were down on the glass all game today, which would have been four of the last five we get out rebounded. Uh, but th those are the things that I would assume Keyshawn's talking about. You know, everybody comes in here and has a career high. And, and uh, uh, the, the one thing that my teams always do is they have courage and they have unity. And right now we're trying to find both. You know, we're, we're in, in uh, that old TV show, In Search Of. Uh, we're, we're the lead actors in that one right now. Dick Cox? Frank, I know tonight was an important night in the history of basketball at South Carolina as you had the opportunity to honor the ACC championship of 50 years ago. And I know Frank McGuire and that team inspired me to be a basketball player and to go on and be a college and high school coach for 37 years in this state and now cover basketball. What do you see uh, this team, what does this team mean to, and Frank McGuire mean to basketball in the state of South Carolina? Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of the, the greatest honors that, that uh, I've ever had is, you know, K-State, where I first got my first job, you know, we had, uh, you know, Lon Kruger, uh, just uh, 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 Cotton Fitzsimmons, Jack Gardner, Jack Hartman, Hall of Fame guys. And then when I leave and I come here, I've got, again, Hall of Fame guys, Frank McGuire and and, you know, I've, I've gotten to coach at two universities that uh, uh, have had incredible people. Coach McGuire is incredible. One of my greatest joys um, as a basketball coach is getting to know the Dunleavies, getting to know Kevin Joyce, getting to, uh, you know, getting around Casey Manning and, and, and you know, and, and just seeing the pride that those guys had from their days wearing the uniform here. It's one of the, the things that, uh, you know, at the end of my first year, I said, why don't we have a Legends weekend? And uh, I was told, well, we did that. I said, when? And they said, well, we had a hundred year celebration a couple of years ago. And I said, and no one ever does that anymore? I said, well, we're changing that because celebrating the history of the program is the best way to keep former players, present players and your community connected. And uh, we, we had dropped the ball there as a university. And then we started that my second year and uh, it's it's been one of the the great things is 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 being around all those guys that you just mentioned and the winning and the 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 responsibility 
that me and our players have to make sure that we, um, we, we make those guys proud uh, because we got things a lot better than they did back then. Uh, it's part of the responsibility uh, to show our players that this school's been number one in the country. This school's won conference championships. Um, you know, it was a big push for me when I had Cinderish and those guys here. Obviously, right now this year, uh, I'm not going to say there's a disconnection there, but there, 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 that all the things we talked about before, uh, we've allowed some stuff to creep in there uh, that's not allowing us to embrace that responsibility that we have as well as we need to. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, Bobby Kremens, Frank McGuire, Dennis Powell, I mean, just keep going, you know, that Donnie Walsh, it just, you know, it, it's the, the, the people that were a part of this university are just hall of fame guys. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it, I, I can tell you, it's, a, I take a lot of pride in the fact that I get to represent the same school, all those guys represented. Michael and Anna. Hey Frank, um, the, these last few games we've seen uh, Nathan Nelson get get some minutes in the first half, and I think something like three of the last four games he's made a three early in the game, and it seems like he's kind of working his way maybe a little bit more into the rotation. Uh, I know that he uh, hurt himself during practice right before the season, but just how has he come on, and just what do you think of just his improvement as a as a player? He he's awesome. I I told him two weeks ago. I said Nathan, I I. I should have been playing you more since the word go this year. And uh, um, I'm, I'm extremely honest with players. I, I, I don't try to deceive them. I don't kind of try and trick them. Uh, I'm extremely honest. And he, he deserved the right to get on the floor because he's one of the guys that I can tell you knows what he's supposed to do, genuinely takes his responsibilities and pride in doing things the right way. He's got courage. I think about that. It's every time I put him in there, when he's open, he sticks a three, you know, he, he's playing, you know, he's got courage. He, he, uh, he's a heck of a teammate. Uh, I'm really proud of him. I probably should have played him a little bit more today uh, than I did, but they're, they're so athletic on the front line that I was worried about, you know, his athleticism. But then again, when I put him in there, Romello White didn't catch the ball in the low post. Why? Cause he, he did what he was supposed to do. And, and when his man set a ball screen, he was where he belonged and which kind of helped us a little bit. So, uh, you know, it's uh, I'm real proud of Nathan. He uh, uh, from the first day he stepped foot on this campus, he's taken unbelievable pride in, in being a part of what we do in that uniform. So. Yeah, uh, hey, Frank, um, I know going into this three game homestand, there was a lot of hope coming off the Florida win and you. I remember you said after the Florida win, you guys had a great practice going in and you felt really good about the team. Yeah. So can you put your finger on what happened during this three game homestand? You guys had a chance to really make a positive move and it didn't happen. We had a lead against Mississippi State in the second half, Phil. Can't protect it. Um, um, you know, went nose and nose with Alabama to the wire and just couldn't, couldn't finish the game. And then obviously today we, you know, we got hit with a, two bad runs, one in the first half where they go third, it's tie game and they go again, a 13 0 run. I mean, we just start bleeding and we don't have, uh, you know, uh, the, the courage to make a shot or go get a stop, come up with a steal um, to, to, to just stop the bleeding and, and turn the tide on your favor and then counter with our own run. And then we had another one in the second half. And um, I think we were down six and from down six, we were down 16, like, Boom, just like that. Um, so uh, it's uh, um, it, it's disappointing because it's that's four conference home losses, and and that's not something that's been happening here under my watch. Uh, but uh, but we we got no one to blame. I mean, we're right there. I mean, we goes nose to nose Alabama. This was a winnable game today. Uh, you know, go to LSU and right there and. Um, we're right there. We just, we, we, we got to keep banging our head against the wall. We got to take more responsibility and more ownership individually. Uh, so we can correct some of the things Keyshawn told you guys about and, and uh, figure out a way to find more trust um, in each other. 